one mode right here and today we've hit 200 subscribers let's go so for that you can see my mad forehead so for today we're back to the type r spoiler content and we're going to try and color match this to the color of the car so coming over to the side of the engine bay we have this plate and on this plate it has the type which is ep2 the engine d16 v1 and then over here where it says b512m is your paint color code obviously for mine is b512m for you it could be other different codes but i mean mine is a pretty weird color right so a quick google search later and i've got this b512m is magnetic blue which part of the car is magnetic blue who knows everything is different but this is the only can that i can find which is from advanced paint whatever the link in the description and it goes bomber 20 quid but the first thing to do is to take off this spoiler and replace it for the old spoiler. So you want to grab a 10 mil socket. So here's the Civic without the spoiler on. The spoiler's down there. And we can also see that underneath here, there's a bit of, I don't know what it is. It could be rust, possibly. But then again, it could just be some, I don't know. But we've got some here which we need to sort out. Um, the hole that we've made, it hasn't particularly rusted, even though that's exposed metal, which is kind of weird. But for now, we're gonna put this spoiler back on and then deal with this after we paint that. Right, boom, so the spoiler is here, and before we even start to prepare this by sanding it, we've got to fix these. These are the things that we need to cut in order to make it fit the EP2's boot lid. So I'm just gonna take this crafting knife and just cut it. Right, so now I've got two options here. We can either leave this light bar in and tape it up, or what we can do is sort of take it out. Basically, what we wanna do, put one screw in this side, and then the other screw in this side and just push down and try and lift and at one point, at some point, it's, there we go and now this is your light bar unattached and now we can wet sand the paint from 240 grit and work our way up to around 800 and to get it quite smooth so it wouldn't be a motor rally video if I didn't mess up somehow. I tried to use the sandpaper and sandpaper the whole thing, but I even got bloody fake orange paint to use as a sanding block. However, Paparelli came in clutch and he found a drill from the Second World War. So I bought this as sandpaper attachment thing. So about after two days, everything is now sanded down. Um, we've still got some more blue stuff, but this is the other side. However, now it's time to sort out the fitment issues. I pre-tested this onto the car not too long ago, and I've cut out this whole section here, and I haven't yet decided to cut this one here. So I test fitted it off camera, and this fits perfectly fine. So now it's time to use the Dremel and just smooth this bit down, let's go. <laughs> So this is the spoiler on the car looking like an idiot 
it just looks a bit weird, but the fitment on it is is perfect. So the next thing to do, get this off, <laughs> paint it, let's go. Now everything's ready, we're gonna put the primer on first, and then we're gonna put the two bottles of the magnetic blue, and then the clear coat, of course. And yeah, let's just get started, let's go. Spoilers installed and everything, and you, as you can see, yes, the magnetic blue from here from the cans don't match up with this altogether. I do actually like this, and it's a lot better than it was. Um, but yeah, now I've realized because this is here, all right, we can see there is a fade from here down to there. There's a fade right there, so you can see this color here matches up to there, but then it fades. So I guess it's just the sun bleaching it. So all we need to do now is just wait until this gets bleached and then this will colour match. Or we can get it down to a body order shop, get it all filled in, all properly sand down and then wrapped. And maybe once we do that we can wrap the whole car. But yeah, that's just an idea. But so far I'm actually really happy about that. Again, it's just temporary for now. So it doesn't look as standing out. If we were down here, everything looks normal apart from the boot lid. The boot lid just looks a bit more bleached. But the spoiler matches with the, the bumper down there, which is really good. But overall, I'm so happy with this. And I'll see you guys next one. What? Well